Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of incomplete abortion or retained products of conception. A young married female patient came with amenorrhea for three months. She had complained for pervaginal bleeding and severe lower abdominal pain for one day. She also gave history of using abortifacient drug to induce abortion. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the bulky uterus and there is an irregular distorted sac noted within the uterine cavity. There is a cystic area at the left adnexal region indicating corpus luteal cyst. We have put color doppler and you can see there is a significant amount of fluid supplying the trophoblastic layer which is a common feature in written products of conception. Your body will always try to supply blood to the trophoblastic tissue. There is no yolk sac or embryo noted. So the diagnosis ends as a case of incomplete abortion. Here is the longitudinal and transverse section of the uterus showing an irregular distorted gestational sac within the uterine cavity. This is a transverse section and you still can see the irregularity of the sac indicating the distortion. Another view of the distorted irregular gestational sac. So in summary, an irregular distorted gestational sac is noted within the uterine cavity without any fetal pore or yolk sac, indicating it as an incomplete abortion. Now the take-home message. Check the uterus both in longitudinal and transverse sections to assess the irregularity of the sac and its contents in a patient came to you with early pregnancy parvaginal bleeding. This may help exclude overdiagnosis in confusing cases. If the sac doesn't look much irregular, then you may wait for a few days before making a diagnosis as an incomplete abortion. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.